The old house on Thornhill Road had been abandoned for 30 years, its windows dark and empty like the eyes of a skull. Children dared each other to approach it, but no one ever went inside <laughs> until tonight. A cold wind howled through the twisted trees as Lucy stood at the rusted gate. The dare was simple go in, spend an hour, and bring back proof. But as she pushed open the creaking gate, a suffocating presence made her heart race. The front door hung ajar, as if inviting her or warning her. Inside, the air was thick with the stench of damp wood and decay. Her flashlight flickered weakly as she stepped over the threshold, the floorboards groaning beneath her. The walls were lined with peeling wallpaper, revealing patches of dark mold. Cobwebs hung like tattered curtains, and shapes of forgotten furniture loomed in the gloom. Then she heard it a faint, chilling whisper, like someone no, something breathing close by. The sound grew louder, more insistent, as if coming from the very walls. Lucy's heart pounded as she turned, her light casting long, menacing shadows. The whisper turned into a low growl, and she realized too late that this was no ordinary house. Something moved in the darkness, tall and impossibly thin, its eyes gleaming with a malevolent hunger. Hey everyone, it's so great to have you back on the channel. I'm beyond excited to share that the short film you just saw was crafted entirely with free AI tools. In this video, I'm going to take you through each and every step, showing you all the tools you'll need. What makes this tutorial truly special is that you can use everything you learn here to create YouTube videos that can be monetized, whether you're into making shorts or longer content. Just look at this channel as proof of what's possible. With just a handful of videos, they've racked up nearly 30 million views and gained 184,000 subscribers, all by creating content like the clip you just watched at the start of this video. And honestly, their video quality doesn't even come close to what we're doing here. So let's dive in without further ado and get this tutorial started. Before anything else, we've got to nail down a solid script. A compelling story always begins with a great script. Personally, I turn to ChatGPT for this. It's my go-to for whipping up fast and fantastic narratives. I'm going to ask it to craft the introduction to a horror story, making it as gripping as possible. And just like that, in the blink of an eye, our script is ready. Next, I'll have it generate prompts that I can feed into a text to image AI so we can create visuals that perfectly capture each scene. Our script and prompts are all set, now it's time to breathe life into this creation. With everything ready, let's dive into crafting the visuals that will bring our story to reality. Let's start by gathering our images. My go-to for this is Leonardo AI, a fantastic tool that consistently delivers top-notch text to image results. Plus, their free tier is incredibly generous. All you need to do is pick the model that best suits your needs. I suggest experimenting with different models to find the one that matches your style perfectly. For now, let's kick things off with DreamShaper V7. In just a few seconds, we have our results, and they're seriously impressive. We'll go ahead and download these images, grab the next prompt from ChatGPT, and repeat the process. With all our images ready, thanks to the tool's fantastic work, we can now move on to the next step. The next step is to go back to ChatGPT and copy our initial script to get our voiceover. We will use my favorite free text to audio tool, Murph AI, as it offers decent voiceovers for free. Just click on Create a Project, choose the voiceover you like, and paste your script. After downloading your voiceover, the next step would be to animate our images. Now it's time to give these images some motion, or as I love to say, breathe life into them. For this, we'll be using one of the top tools available Luma Dream Machine. It offers an amazing free monthly tier, letting you create up to 30 image to video transformations every month. This is the perfect tool for what we need. Open your browser, type Luma Dream Machine and hit enter. Click on the second link and sign in using your Google account. This will take you straight to the interface where the real magic unfolds. Next, start importing your images and describing the actions you want them to perform in the video you're creating. Keep importing and guiding the process with your prompts. Honestly, the only issue with this tool is that because of the heavy traffic, sometimes the generation takes too much time. So I will show a good alternative. Still on Leonardo AI, you can go back to the picture you previously generated and click on Generate Motion Video. I will add motion to the picture and bring it to life. Look at this, repeat the process with all the pictures. If you're enjoying this content, please consider giving the video A like it helps the algorithm share it with more viewers. And if you want to be notified whenever I drop new free courses, don't forget to subscribe. Your likes and subscriptions are the best way to support my channel and I truly appreciate it. Now, let's dive back into the course. The final stage of our movie production journey is editing. For this, we'll be using CapCut as our go-to software. Start by importing your freshly created visuals into your CapCut dashboard. CapCut truly stands out as the best free editing software available. While there are other options, I'm a huge fan of CapCut because it's incredibly user-friendly and packed with top-notch free effects, transitions, and animations. The next step is to import the audio Murph AI gave us. Just add the voiceover and add the design above it. Make sure to properly synchronize the image with the sounds. 
You can slow or speed up the video if you need. Then you need to cut the blank and the unnecessary pauses in the voiceover to make sure the rhythm is good. After importing all of your visuals, it's time to add transitions. Transitions make shifting between scenes feel seamless and natural. For our project, I'm choosing the overlay transition because it perfectly matches the style and mood of our video. Then you can add effects. Effects are amazing for keeping your audience's attention and making your content more memorable. I definitely recommend the film frame effect and the noise effect. Here are key cap code effects for horror videos, gloom and darkness, adjust brightness and contrast or use filters for a dark, ominous mood. Creepy transitions, apply transitions like fade to black or ghost for unsettling scene changes. Distortion effects, use distortion or glitch effects to evoke disorientation or supernatural elements. Sound effects, layer eerie sounds such as creaking doors or distant screams from CapCut's horror audio library. Slow motion, emphasize tension and suspense with slow motion effects. Visual noise, add noise or static for a grainy, unsettling look. Color grading, apply dark, muted tones or cold blues and greens for a chilling atmosphere. To give our mystery a chilling edge, let's dive into finding some eerie audio and add sounds that perfectly fit the mood. CapCut has a fantastic library of audio tracks and sound effects that's both impressive and incredibly useful. Remember to trim all the sound effects to sync seamlessly with the original voiceover. While you can add as many effects as you like, I usually keep it to 3 to 5 to avoid overwhelming the background. Always make sure the sound effects are lower in volume than the voiceover so your narration remains clear and dominant. Once the transitions are set, we can move on to adding some spine-chilling sound effects to our film. Since this scene features people walking through a haunted house, we'll layer in eerie sounds that match the atmosphere perfectly. This is how we'll integrate sound effects throughout the entire production, by matching each scene with the sounds it needs to enhance the mood. Never underestimate the power of sound effects, they can truly make or break a video. With CapCut's extensive library of sound effects, finding the perfect sounds for your scenes is a breeze. Just search for effects that enhance the mood you're aiming for. Also, make sure to adjust the volume of these effects to around 40 or 45% so they blend seamlessly with your voiceover and other audio elements without overpowering them. As you watch your movie, keep asking yourself what sound effect will enhance this scene. Make sure to trim each sound effect so that it fits perfectly within its scene and doesn't bleed into the next one. Now we're down to the final step of the video production process, adding captions. CapCut's auto caption feature makes this easy, so we'll use that to generate our captions. You can stick with the default templates and fonts if they work for you, but I enjoy making a few tweaks to create a unique look. If this is your first time tuning in, I'm Laptop Dream. A warm welcome to my channel. I create videos focused on AI tools and ways to profit from them online. My goal is to keep you informed about the latest AI advancements and show you how to leverage them for earning opportunities. The old house on Thornhill Road had been abandoned for 30 years. Its windows dark and empty, like the eyes of a skull. Children dared each other to approach it, but no one ever went inside, until tonight. A cold wind howled through the twisted trees as Lucy stood at the rusted gate. The dare was simple go in, spend an hour, and bring back proof. But as she pushed open the creaking gate, a suffocating presence made her heart race. The front door hung ajar, as if inviting her or warning her. Inside, the air was thick with the stench of damp wood and decay. Her flashlight flickered weakly as she stepped over the threshold, the floorboards groaning beneath her. The walls were lined with peeling wallpaper, revealing patches of dark mold. Cobwebs hung like tattered curtains, and shapes of forgotten furniture loomed in the gloom. Then she heard it a faint, chilling whisper, like someone no, something breathing close by. The sound grew louder, more insistent, as if coming from the very walls. Lucy's heart pounded as she turned, her light casting long, menacing shadows. The whisper turned into a low growl, and she realized too late that this was no ordinary house. Something moved in the darkness, tall and impossibly thin, its eyes gleaming with a malevolent hunger. 